Hi, if you watched the All-Star Grand Queendom, you probably saw Starlight Kid, this little menace borrowing TK's key to the forbidden doors and crossing the fog into the Ichigaya Chocolate Square to invade Choco Pro Wrestling. And then you probably went, Chocobo? What's a Chocobo? Well, this is a Chocobo. Oh, you meant Choco Pro. Sorry, I didn't realize you were dumb. It's a type of chocolate, you know, like a like a pro online chocolate shop where you order specialty chocolates and they deliver it in a nice box and a fragrance and stuff. Yeah, yes, that's exactly right. But you have to play Jenkin first in order to even order. But this chocolate is the best chocolate, the most tastiest chocolate in the world. Just ask Chie. But nah, what really is a Chocopro? Do they really wrestle without a ring in this little building? Yes. Pourquoi? Because Chocopro was never supposed to exist in the format that it is. Gato Move is the actual promotion started by Emi Sakura. Chocopro took place in the training school and was used during the pandemic to keep the content rolling and the promotion going. Emi Sakura started in the early 90s and is a very well-known name and highly respected wrestler amongst the Joshi community. She founded the promotion Ice Ribbon and was their main trainer, being solely responsible for training many of the modern Joshis we see today, including Riho. Her influence is unmistakable. She would eventually leave Ice Ribbon for personal reasons and form Gato Move in Thailand. During the time, she created two championships for the promotion, the Super Asia Dream Tag Team Championships and the Super Asia Championship. She would use Ichigaya to train new students, but she wouldn't judge too harshly on who came in, as Emi Sakura's philosophy is that anyone can be a professional wrestler. The Derejo Project is open to all to come and experience the training of a pro wrestler on the square. Even today, you can watch the sessions online. One of these students was a young girl who skipped college to learn to wrestle a big apple girl in a 4'11 body. May Suruga, Mama Mame Suruga. Emi Sakura also gave the world Chie Koshikawa. Cause Saint Emi doing Lord Raku's work. Emi was also recognized by AEW for her work and wrestled several shows, joining the promotions, darker shows, but spreading her name nonetheless. She is the queen after all, Queen Emmy, deserving of being royalty. With the hardcore Western fan base learning her name, soon she will be given the flowers. She deserves so much. But the COVID pandemic shut Japan down, and the wrestlers at Ichigaya needed a place to work. All was uncertain. What could they do? Aki would go on to say how they thought the world might be ending, and indeed, one could understand how these opening two weeks of complete uncertainty was certainly frightening. But Emi Sakura focused not on the anxieties the end of the world could bring, but rather, how do I work with what we got? She realized she had a venue, she had a camera, she had the YouTube channel already, she has a school of wrestlers, and a dude named Aki who can film it, wrestle in it, who speaks English too, so he can commentate and address a Western audience that companies like Stardom don't even bother doing. Legit reaction from my best friend, he like, why does this show have English commentary but not Stardom? Well, Emi Sakura decided, why not film a wrestling show here? That's what they used to do. Big shows in the ring, smaller shows on the square. Why not bring the big show onto the square? Choco Pro Wrestling was born then. As Bali and Aki wrestled against Minoru Suzuki in the very first main event, Suzuki choosing to do this favor for Sakura should say everything about the respect Sakura has amongst her peers. And so the rest was history. Every show, Aki thought this would be the last one, but more and more people kept watching. Why? Was it the wrestling? The characters? The unique environment? No. It was all of it. Sure, they can only do so much, but what they prove and highlight is how to think on the spot and wrestle anywhere. Anyone who was trained by Emi Sakura and has wrestled in the Ichigaya Chocolate Square can have a match anywhere in the world with anyone and have it be a fun and creative match. No Jamie Noble to direct the spots, just their brain. Yes, even Chie's brain, but there's something I continuously fail to talk about, and it's one of the biggest reasons I love watching the show 
live. More than the wholesome moments, the raw acting performances, the feel of a black box theater, watching a young talent like Chie Goshigawa must have been the same feeling an agent watching a young rising star like Meryl Streep in a high school play. You see the future, and it's exciting. It's more than intimate setting, the intimate emotions of Aki losing his title, or the moments when Chie tries to win Jenkin. It's the community, like the live audience who buys into every bit. Look at this woman cheering for her Gane. She's my new favorite fan. It's so wholesome. Oh my god. But for everyone not in Japan, it's the live chat. Watch Choco Pro with chat and just let yourself go. Have fun. The community is what kept Choco Pro alive for more than 300 episodes. Sponsoring with bouquets and month long support, I've come to recognize and really enjoy seeing the familiar name pop up. The chat is average 300 strong and it's always always popping. Whether the best bros are lost in LA or an actual Choco Pro show, they are there watching, reacting live, coming up with emojis for each wrestler and supporting them directly. It's as wholesome as it gets. There are no fighting, no weirdos, no trolls, just pure fandom. So don't just give Choco Pro a chance. Try watching when they are live and join the chat and maybe I'll see you in there too. So see it, believe it, cause we are. So shout out to Window Jeff, the dude who sometimes steals your spot too. Dogu, The Up Channel, Tommy Phoenix Rising, Boost B, OG2001, Dan Work, Bibbidi, and many, many more that I'm glossing over cause I still have to shout out my patrons and I didn't write down all the names. And thank you to all my Patreon sponsors, Jeff, The Up Channel, Geek, Anthony, Kopi, Tease, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Neil, John, Terrence, Stanwick, Edward, Kevin Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious Royals, Party, Marty, Punk, Wicks, Videos, Mini, Shira, Kawas, Boobas, Venji, Dr. Ensick, Juggernaut, Graphics, Polar Bear, Shut Up, Ingo, Ash, McGee, Tombo, Underscore, Boggle, and my newest sponsor, Chicken. Thank you so much.